What is up guys, Rampage here bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle and right here we got a 5th gen UU battle against some guy whose name is really unpronounceable to me so I won't even try to pronounce it. I'll leave his channel um, link in the description and I hope you guys will enjoy. And also, this isn't my first UU battle, I also had a UU battle that I posted on another channel called Gengar's Galaxy. I will leave a link to that in the description as well for you guys to check out. So. Let's get started. He's going to lead off with uh, Excelgore, I believe that's his English name. And I'm going to lead off with Celebi. Fearing the Buck Buzz, I'm just going to switch out into my Zapdos because I know Zapdos can take hits from this thing because I'm special defensive and I'll resist the stab move. So I'm just going to go for the T Ball to try and KO it. Um, I thought he might switch out, so that's why I went for the T Ball and not the Heat Wave because I do carry the Heat Wave. But T Ball is a two hit KO. He does set up a layer of spikes, unfortunately, and does bring me past half health. But I'm not really too worried about it. So now he's going to bring in his Sharpedo, and I am predicting the Protect right here, so I am just going to go for the Roost. And I was thinking that maybe any hit won't be able to KO me anyway, because I am a really bulky Zapdos. So it works out for me right here, and I know Ice Beam or Ice Fang or whatever won't be able to KO my Zapdos. So I'm just going to go for the T-Bolt and stay in. But he's going to switch out into his Dredagon, his little Digimon looking Pokemon. And these things are kind of bulky, so I'm just going to go for the Toxic on it, because it's good move to have for bulky pokes and he's gonna go for the rock slide and that's gonna do a jack crap load of damage to me like what the hell so like yeah that did a lot and I'm just gonna roost here cuz I think I could live another one because I um, I'll be lose my flying uh, flying typing yeah and then he goes for the Dragon Claw. Now I see the Life Orb. So I'm thinking that this thing is definitely Sheer Force. And I didn't even know this thing got Sheer Force. But apparently it does. So that's why that Rock Slide was super mega overpowered. But yeah. So he's going to go to Rock Slide again. That is going to do some damage to me. Because he gets a crit. So that will be able to KO me. I said some damage to me. But yeah. So um just going to bring out Celebi again because I know Celebi could take a hit from this thing because I am defensive, defensively invested and I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks which works out for me right here because he goes for the Sucker Punch so right here I'm predicting him to predict the Stealth Rocks again or Elite Seed so he won't go for the Sucker Punch so I'm just going to go for the Earth Power because I thought I might be faster and it worked out there and I'm able to, able to KO the Dredagon pretty easily so now he's going to bring out this Victini, and I'm thinking that this is the physical Victini with V-Create, because, come on now, wh why wouldn't you carry a Victini with V-Create? So I'm just going to go out to my Arcanine to get the Intimidate, and because I also resist the V-Create, but he goes for the Fire Blast. So that, so that means that this is a special Victini, it has leftovers, so I'm not sure if it's bulky or not just yet, I'm just, but it all spent me, so it's probably not. So I'm going to go for the Morning Sun right there to get some of my HP back because HP is good. And I really don't want to take any damage with Arcanine. So I'm going to switch out to Flygon um, not knowing what he was going to do. I actually thought he had the Thunder because I wasn't paying attention when he missed the Focus Blast. So that's why I went out to Flygon. But um, I switch out into a Focus Blast. I take about half from it. Now I'm just going to U-turn predicting his switch. But he doesn't switch out so pretty cool on your part. And now he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp on my Milotic, which is pretty good because of Marvel Scale, but pretty bad because of residual damage. I'm kind of surprised to see the Will-O-Wisp on a Victini because that's very uncommon, unless it's probably bulky. So I'm not really sure what this Victini is. So anyway, he's going to U-turn out. It doesn't do anything because of Marvel Scale and bulkiness and stuff. Now I'm just going to go for the Toxic, but he goes out into his Kabalion, which is immune to toxic so that kinda sucks for me but I'm thinking I could take a close combat due to marvel scale activation so I'm just gonna stay in an extra turn and go for the skull just so I can break the balloon because I do know that my flygon will be able to outspeed and KO with an earthquake from that um, point of health so now I'm gonna switch out into my Celebi as death bother because I really don't need it anymore and I knew he would go for the fighting type attack and I knew Celebi resisted and it really won't help me at all against anything so he's gonna go for the hidden power right here which I find very unusual a mix Kabalion that has sword stance and the hidden power I, I really don't think that works well together at all so anyway I'm just gonna be able to KO this thing with the earth power and 
yeah, that's cool right there. So now he has this Galvantula, and I really can't do anything to this. So I'm just going to keep my Celebi in his Death Father because, just because, I guess, really can't do anything. And now I'm going to go out into my flag on. Go for the Outrage. Not sure if an Earthquake would have KO'd or not. It probably would have, but I just wanted to be safe. Go for the Outrage. That's definitely going to KO. And since I'm locked into it, I'm hoping that it can KO this Victini. And I know it will KO his Sharpedo, which is his last guy after Victini. But it doesn't KO his Victini. He goes for the Will O' Wisp. But fortunately for me, he misses, which is great. So I will be able to KO him with this Outrage right here. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so now it's going to go out into a Sharpedo, and he's going to go for the Protect, because really the only way he can try to come back is if he gets two Speed Boosts, KOs my Flag on, and just starts a Mini Sweep, well, not a Mini Sweep, but just starts to sweep my team with Sharpedo. So anyway, I hit myself in Confusion twice, which is really gay, because now he's going to be able to get two Speed Boosts, making him faster than my Flag on. He's going to go for the Ice Beam, but right here, I see the Life Orb. Which means that I could stall this thing out easily and then KO with Extreme Speed with Arcanine. So I'm not worried at all. So I'm just going to go out into my loading just for some Life Orb stalling. And he's going to go for the Crunch. That's not going to be a KO. And I'm going to go for the Scald. Right here, I am going to get a crit that will end the game. It was a really good battle. Hope to battle you again, unpronounceable name guy. Real cool. Hope to get in. Uh, why, why am I repeating myself? So anyway, yeah, that was a UU battle, guys. Make sure you go check out the battle on Gengar's Galaxy. There will be a link in the description. Also, you can go sub them if you want. Um, I will see you guys in the near future. Peace the hell out.